Yes, villagers. Today we're going to be talking about four things that you need to consider if you're planning on moving in with somebody before you are married. If you're new to this channel, welcome to our village. If you're a returning villager, welcome as well. So let's get into it. Welcome to Garden of the Mind, where we reduce stress, improve our health and fitness, and improve our financial IQ every episode. Marriage for some can be the next level to dating. So for some people, it can be uncharted waters. So they want to try to get as many indicators as they possibly can that it's going to work. And usually there's no bigger indicator that people have in their minds at least than to move in with somebody and kind of test drive everything and see how it all works. So we're going to talk about four things that you need to figure out before you decide to move in with someone. Tip number one, you have to clarify exactly why you are moving in with somebody. Is it because you are looking to cut the bills down 50-50? Is it a financial concern? What is it that you are looking for when you are moving in? Are you looking to test drive this situation to see if marriage is, is in the possibility? These things you have to clarify for yourself. And once you do that for yourself, make sure that you talk to your partner about it because communication is so big. Many times we think that because we have something in our head and it's obvious to us exactly what the reason is for us moving in. If we don't communicate that with the person who we're moving in with, they haven't a clue. So to us, it might be 100% obvious why you would be moving in with somebody. Of course, it's because we want to cut the bills or of course, it's because we want to test drive to see whether we're compatible for marriage. Those things may not be so obvious. Make sure that they are in the same line of thinking as you are in terms of what the end goal is. Tip number two, do your own research. And what I mean by that is talk to other people who you know who live together and see whether those things have ended up in marriage. What were some of the problems that they have? What are some of the problems that they overcame? What are some of the things that they had no idea until they got in the situation? These are things that you want to find out from people so that you can find out what's next on the horizon or what are some of the things that you should be looking for in your situation. Another place you can look is you can look in your spiritual books to find out exactly what the spiritual books say. Check the Bible, check the Quran, check the Torah, whatever spiritual books guide your life, take a look in there and see exactly what it is that they say about marriage or possibly you moving in with someone. Now I've taken a look at some other YouTuber videos such as Evan M. Katz or Jefferson Bathke or Steve Harvey and some of the things that I heard were pretty interesting. So I'm just going to share some of the highlights of those. Some of the things that I've heard is that if you live with someone before marriage, you have a 50% chance of getting divorced. To me, that wasn't really anything to write home about. That seemed like exactly the regular statistic on marriage period, which was 50%. So that didn't necessarily tell me anything. Now, Steve Harvey said that two thirds of the people who moved in together ended up in divorce. All of the statistics and numbers that I heard, there were still more questions to be asked. Like one, when were these statistics taken? Because in this society, most people are moving in prior to marriage. That seems almost like it's a precedent now for marriage. Were those things taken into account when these statistics were done? Those are some of the questions that I have. Now, one of the things that I heard that I thought was super interesting is that if you are in a relationship for 18 months and then move in with someone, that became a good predictor of how successful you would be. Then I heard another wrinkle that said it depends on the age of the people who move in together, and that is an indicator of whether they're going to get divorced or not. Then I heard something else that said if there is no discussion about marriage moving into moving in, then the chances of you getting married are almost nil. All of these different factors you have to figure out for yourself and see exactly what makes these things true in those statistics and what will make it true in your situation should you decide to do it. 
Tip number three, you're gonna find that once you move in with somebody, you have to make time for dating. Because what happens is when you move in with someone, there's a tendency for you to take them for granted. There's a tendency for you to confuse the fact that the two of you are always together as quality time, and that is completely false. See, when you're dating, you take time, preparation, to meet with the person and they become your center of attention during the time that you are meeting with them. So when your boo calls you up and says that, look, I'm coming to pick you up on Friday or we're going out on Friday, then you go out, you get your outfit, you get ready, you might get you a haircut, you might go get a dress, you might do all of these things in preparation for the time that you are looking to spend. So that time when you do spend it is focused on each other. When you start to move in with somebody, then the lines get blurred. You start to confuse the fact that the two of you are always together as time spent and sometimes dating can suffer. So you have to make time for dating and you have to make it as special as when it was before you moved in with this person. See, now there is going to be a shift. You decide exactly how far that shift goes once you move in with somebody. Tip number four. Moving in with somebody may not be the test run for marriage that you think it is. There are positives on one side, negatives on the other side, and they both for the most part cancel each other out. For example, a positive. When you move in with somebody, that's when you actually get to know exactly who they are. So during that time, you might be able to find some deal breakers, some habits that you didn't know about a person that you absolutely cannot deal with. So that may be a positive. A negative, is you are going into a marriage situation. When you move in with somebody, you get closer to marriage instead of further. Meaning that when you move in with somebody, you look more like a married couple than a couple who is just single. While you're with this person, you are encountering situations very similar to marriage, but you're not exactly married. So that door is always open. So there's not really the exact conditions that you think are going to yield the results as if you were married because you're not married. When you are single, the door is always open. But some can argue also that when you're married, the door is always open. However, what I say to that is when you're married, the door is always open. However, that door is about 100 pounds and it has that big wheel that you turn and a whole lot of complications with opening that door and leaving than there are when you're single. So if you're trying to completely capture all of the conditions that you would face while you're married in this single situation, it's not gonna exactly happen. So that's exactly to me how the two just cancel each other out. I don't care what anybody says. Once you get married, that's when you actually get married. You can be with a person for 10 years, 15 years prior to you getting married. Once you get married, that's when the clock really starts. So all of that other time is helpful but it does not make a determination whether you are going to be successful in your marriage or not. You can be great boyfriend and girlfriends, but horrible husbands and wives. Now everyone is familiar with the saying, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free? That's in a sense what you're doing when you move in with somebody. Now Steve Harvey had a great tip for women. He said that a woman should show a man what he can get, but let him imagine what it is that he should have. Now, as a man, I can certainly say, we like to see, but what we always see is not what we respect. What we respect is what we can imagine, not what's out on Front Street. Now, I think it is super sexy for a woman to show just enough for intrigue and also leave enough for the imagination. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you wanna know when I post, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but the exact time, please click on that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And remember, thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. I'll see you for our Fit Fridays where we'll be making that omelet, that brioche French toast, and that bellini. See you then.